Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another edition of Juicing with Jay. Today is day three of the Raw Vegan Challenge. And uh, it hasn't been bad for me. Uh, I've been through this before, uh, so I, I kind of know what to expect. But for those who are kind of joining in or this is your first time uh, doing it, you can refer back to one of my videos uh, that I did a couple years ago uh, documenting my whole process the first time that I did the raw vegan challenge. Uh, so that's that's a good kind of starting point if you want to get some insight on my personal journey. Uh, don't don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Don't go buy a whole bunch of stuff that you're not going to use immediately, especially like when you're dealing with uh, fruits and vegetables. You don't want anything to spoil on you, so you don't want to waste any type of money. But for us as gardeners, you know, you could just go to your garden and just pick as you need or uh, harvest as you need. So for right for me for right now, and the, the reason why I didn't just do a complete raw vegan uh, situation or raw vegan challenge is because I know it's difficult for people who want to try this to just eat all raw foods. I know that's difficult because of, like I was a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, and doing a raw vegan challenge for me was even difficult. So I know that's a difficult journey. And I want you guys to feel comfortable with doing this journey and detoxing yourself. So for me, like right now, it's raining really hard. It's cold outside. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make me a pot of uh, black eyed peas. So that's what I'm gonna left while I'm up this this morning. I'm gonna just throw this in the crock pot and let that cook throughout the day. Uh, don't overthink it. Uh, just be in the mindset that you can eat whatever plant based. Try to eat whole foods, plant based uh, foods you can eat without any dairy products. Uh, don't think too hard about it. If you you know feel yourself getting weak or you know, grab you a snack, uh, apple or something like that. I have uh, water right now. I have a brand, uh, I have a brand new juicer that I'm gonna uh, probably bust out this week, the Namu 2 juicer. But before I even had the juicer, I had some stuff from Costco, which is like some cold press uh, beet juice. It's pretty expensive in the stores. It's about $8 for, let me see. about five flight uh, 51 fluid ounces one liter so it's about eight bucks but this this will last this lasts me about two to three days this lasts me about two to three days so this is kind of what I'm on right now uh, so I, I don't really necessarily have to juice anything like right now but when I do finish this I have actually two bottles of these right here so this is a beet lemon, beet lemon, ginger, and apple. So this is really good, cold pressed. And so I have about two of those right now. So there's no need for me to uh, juice right, right now. But I do have some stuff that I will be juicing in the future. grapefruits that I need to juice. So I'll be uh, juicing these grapefruits. And I'll, I'll drop that video when, when that time uh, arrive, w which will probably be sometime this week. But anyway, guys, I just come to say, don't overthink it. Just take it one day at a time, uh, one meal at a time. You are able to eat as many healthy plant-based cooked foods as you want. Me, I want to do as much raw as I possibly can. And then my cooked foods, like on a day like this, where it's like raining outside and, you know, cold and things of that nature. So let's stay strong, guys. This is day three. Let's do it together. Uh, 
you know, the model on the page, each one teach one. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.